Hello and welcome to another edition of Off the Robes presented to you by Trophy Smack at Trophy Smack. Please like and subscribe if you are watching us on YouTube. Have a great debate planned ahead for you today. Is CD Lamb overvalued, undervalued? Who the hell knows? We're about to tell you and tell you exactly what to know. Dynasty redraft, all the above. Mark Cooper's gone. Cedric Wilson's gone. Could 2022 and beyond be the era of CD Lamb? Let's find out. Coming to you live off the ropes. Welcome in to Off the Ropes, presented by TrophySmack.com. Today's topic, we got to talk some CD Lamb. If you are a member of the Dynasty Fantasy community, if you're just even a casual Twitter user, I'm sure you've seen some debates going back and forth on CD throughout the offseason. The guy has had two pretty awesome start, starting years of his career. With that said, is he a top five receiver? Is he someone that maybe we're perhaps overvaluing? Let's find out, everyone. Jacob, we're going to start off with you. You believe that the God, the Player profile. Your company has comped into Jerry Rice. But you believe <laughs> CeeDee Lamb is overvalued. What say you? You got 60 seconds. CeeDee Lamb is a very good wide receiver. I want to say that off the top. My CD slander is not because he's bad. He's not a bust. He's not anything like that. It's all related to the cost. CeeDee Lamb, theoretically, as a prospect, is this excellent alpha wide receiver. But as Thanos once said, reality is often disappointing. Among all the top dynasty wide receivers ranked in the top 18 right now, his whopper, his weighted opportunity rating, was the lowest, under 0.5 last year. His expected fantasy points per game last year was number 25, right next to Russell Gage. This is a guy who may ascend, and there's a lot of reasons why we think he should ascend, but coming off of two years, he hasn't shown the ability to command targets. We know those are earned. He hasn't commanded them consistently down the field, and he has a lot of room to grow before we anoint him as the next great dynasty wide receiver. Rich, we got Jacob throwing out Russell Gage slander <laughs> in the CD Lamb argument. The man's talking about 2020, 2021. What do you have to say about CD Lamb in 2022 and beyond? Listen, if you believe he's a good player, then there's no cost that is uh, too high for good players, in my opinion. Uh, I want those guys on my team, especially for a guy that, like you said, has an elite profile. Had two good seasons out of the box. He will be 23 in April. He plays in the highest scoring offense in the NFL. Uh, and he's just kind of, like you said, he's good at the game all around. I mean, you look at contested catch game. Uh, he was 11th of all wide receivers in, in that. He's great after the catch. He was fifth among all wide receivers in forcing his tackles, fifth in yards, created after contact. Uh, he was the highest targeted wide receiver per route on Dallas already. Uh, so now there's a little more runway for him uh, this season. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's me. I just want good players that are good at the game. Uh, you know, Does he want a trophy for out-targeting Mari Cooper? Because a mediocre receiver like Crabtree once did that. <laughs> uh, listen, man. Uh, Just opportunity the... to say sorry, receiver like Crabtree, but that's okay. That's okay. Rich, go ahead. <laughs> CD Lamb is strictly, and this is a person that was down on CD Lamb last year. I was telling people about what Jacob's telling him now. Uh, he's just strictly a victim of circumstance and fantasy plus community uh, and expectations that that we're all just greedy, fat, sloppy pigs, and uh, it's not his fault. You know, I just want to grab him like Robin Williams grabbed Matt Damon and just, and just let him know it's not your fault. It's not your fault. But for, we can get back on this year for two to three awkward minutes, just hugging and letting him know. Jacob, you did start off that statement. You know, being objective. You know, Ceedee Lamb is good. We all we all understand that Ceedee Lamb is a good to great NFL wide receiver. But personally, he's my wide receiver five in Dynasty Land. Is what you're saying that look, he just shouldn't be someone that we're necessarily treating as a top ten, top twelve receiver because we'd like to see those guys prove it first. Absolutely. Look, if you're looking at bets of who among the wide receivers that have been low-end wide receiver twos to this point in their fantasy careers is best primed to take the next step, CeeDee Lamb is my 101 off the board. The problem is he's going in a range with guys like A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf, even Jalen Waddle, T. Higgins, Deontay Johnson, Debo Samuel, guys who have already shown it, guys who already have better peripherals, have already scored more fantasy points, or some of whom, like Waddle, Higgins, are just as young or even younger. So to me, it's all about cost. We can sit here, we can grab our heaps of straw and say, how can people say that CeeDee Lamb isn't good at football? 
of course CD Lamb is good at football, but cost does matter. And the opportunity cost of CD Lamb right now is either elite veteran wide receivers like a Devontae Adams or a Tyreek Hill, or other up and coming young receivers who have drawn more targets already and who already are what we hope CD Lamb might grow into this year. We don't hate the player, we just hate the ADP. Rich, looking at the Cowboys, let's focus a little bit more on 2022 specifically, because to Jacob's point, even in a even in a format like Dynasty, like yeah, three to five years is great, but you know, winning the championship this year would be pretty cool as well. Mari Cooper, gone. Cedric Wilson, gone. There is an argument that to be made that not having someone like Cooper demanding coverage, you know, from defenses could maybe be a net negative for CeeDee Lamb. Do you anticipate him establishing himself as a top wide receiver? one weekly in fantasy as soon as this year do you still think it might be a year or two away well i mean if he, if he can't then he never was going to right like this is the runway that is that, that was kind of just always needed uh really kind of the all it comes down to with cd lamb at the end of the day is that he wears number 88 for the cowboys which has historically been un, unfallable uh J- jacob is part of team Team name swag index. <laughs> Sedarian Lamb is an amazing name. We know he's an elite decision maker. If you go back to draft night when his girl took his phone, he just took it away. I mean, he's got all the intangibles that I feel like you're just not putting not putting into account here. Jacob's bringing up Loper, and <laughs> freaking Rich is bringing up draft day to phone etiquette. I love. You try it. to go into a debate with Rich, and I think, oh man, I better have my stats ready. And and all of a sudden, you know, Rich Rebar is looking at the looking at the flip phone index. <laughs> trying to make his decisions. Rich Bar gun to a nice fight. I absolutely <laughs> love it. But you know what? That's Rich's opinion. That's Jacob's opinion. You also have an opinion. Go ahead and let us know at Trophy Smack, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you are on. Let us know. Is CD Lamb overvalued, undervalued? Maybe he's priced just right. For Jacob, for Rich, thank you all for tuning in to another edition of Off the Ropes. Again, you can vote on the poll at Trophy Smack on Twitter. Like and subscribe. Until next time, take care, everybody.